stands of him. He is the God omniscient. Glory to God. He is omnipresent this morning. He is the omnipotent one. Right as said, if you call him in the morning, he hear you and he answer. If you call at midnight, the Holy Ghost sets your soul on fire. He is alive. He lives forever. He abides forever. And the Holy Ghost before you to Galilee. He is not only in Galilee this morning. He's in this house. Yes. Would you like to know him? Yes. Would you like to build up a relation with him? Yes. From in the beginning, that was why he made man. Yes. Adam and he, the two first person yes. that was created and made by him. That was the purpose. Yes. To have fellowship with man. Bible says, make man in his own image. Glory to God. He fashioned us in his own image after his own likeness. We are supposed to look like him, sound like him, behave like him, walk like him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can only do that if you have that close fellowship. You can't do it by just speaking a word. I heard somebody just the other day say to a group of people, ah, because before the preacher went on with his message, he was bragging and boasting of how big the crowd was. And he finished as I listened to the tape, somebody sent it to me. And he said at this time, if anyone would like to come now, to be a Christian or whatever. And whosoever comes, he told them, just say after me. Can't remember the exact word. But Lord, I am sorry. Lord, I want to be a Christian. And whatever the few words were, he sealed them in the book. He said that they were a part of the church. But I'm here today to tell you. No matter how you preach it, no matter how free you are in after me, that will move him. No matter put on your expensive dress and coat, he don't see that. He don't want to run after the flesh. No matter how you are rich, no matter the time of how you are rich, no matter how you are famous, every wisdom and knowledge, every bit of understanding that you might have, come from him. So don't matter tell him about that. Right. Come to him. You have to repent. Yes. Repent him. Yes. Sorry for your sin. Yes. Turn away from him. Yes. When Israel sin, times and times again, yes. I heard them plead. Turn us, oh God. Yes. Turn us. Yes. Turn us. Yes. And we shall return. You have to sorry for the past life. The things as much as in your knowledge that you know is not right. Sorry for them. Turn from them. Leave them behind. And after you do that, the first message that was preached after he came from the tomb was on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. And we are told that there is Peter preach and how many souls were saved. What was the message? Repent! Every one of you, not just the men, but the women and children too. The famous one, the rich one, the scribes, the Pharisees, the priests and the chief priests, Repent. And I'm very sorry for what you do. Here's another step. Be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> 
city. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Because in this city there was some men. The condition must have been like what it is today. They were just silent. They couldn't do anything to help the condition. They were just silent. Because they go in the city. And you will see those that have the mark on their forehead. Oh, hallelujah. Save them. Anyone that don't have the mark, start on the sanctuary. Go right in the house of God. God is a judgment. Look in the house of God. Mm-hmm. 